Hi there, welcome. Welcome to Homekeepers. I am so glad you're there and I am so glad to be here. And I say it every day, but it must be said if you're a brand new viewer, you are so welcome. You just come right into our home and we're going to talk about things that affect the home. And that's about everything, isn't it? Gives us a lot to talk about. And I have a wonderful guest today and her name is Denise Derry. And uh, this lady, when you see her, you won't believe it, but she does have four children. She's a minister's wife. She's very much involved in the young people at the church. And uh, she has an experience with CellQuest. Now, you know, we've offered this product for several years now. And this is kind of a new one. And I've been talking to her back and forth for several months. And so I want you to know we're going to talk about it. Um, and... Um, you who watch religiously and remember everything that goes on, this is for you. For one program, we had to change the telephone number for CellQuest. Now, to add to the confusion, we're back to the regular number. That's 1-800-229-0059. And as you see on the screen there, the uh, three, three bottles for $39.95, including shipping. So I'll tell you more about that as the program progresses. Um, but... Uh, Wanda and I are going to make uh, something very spectacular in the kitchen. It's a strawberry yummy, yummy kind of dessert. You'll want this one. But before I join her, I might be one of the only great grandmothers in the universe that has a blog. And I got one now, and I'd like for you to check it out once in a while. Just go to rippy.org. There it is, rippy.org. Couldn't be... Uh, simpler and then when you get there have tea time talk that's the name of the blog you can go right to it and I'm going to do my best to keep you informed and and I sure want your feedback I really do but remember how busy I am and I might not get to it um, right now we cannot afford a web a webmaster <laughs> get that okay I'm going to join Wanda over here Wanda wants a test kitchen right and I want a webmaster and um, <laughs> that would be the first thing I want. <laughs> but before we get into that, and of course, you know, if we get a couple million dollar foundation or something, we might get both of those, right? Yeah. Okay, if you watch all the time, you know we had a total breakdown on some uh, stra cream strawberries thing. Partial, we got some partial breakdown. It partly went wrong. The first day, the first day it was a total. The second time we tried it, it was partial. Partial, yeah. Okay, our viewers know everything. Well, I want to hear it. And uh, she says, uh, I enjoy your program. Regarding the problem you and Wanda had with the whipping cream, uh, not whipping properly, may I comment? Yes, ma'am. The cream did not whip faster than normal and was turn w did whip faster than normal and was turning to butter. <laughs> <laughs> Had you continued whipping, the cream would have separated from the liquid, a thin buttermilk, and the solid would have been butter. And then she talks about how she was, you know, on a farm and uh, how they had that fresh butter. She is absolutely correct about mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. How, however, mm -hmm. hate to do this. That's my fault. However, no, no, we don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't use heavy whipping cream. Mm -hmm. That was why it didn't work out the mm -hmm. first time. So yeah, we had light whipping cream because I bought. But the she wrong is thing right about. Say. That will happen that way. Yeah. Okay, tell us what we're doing here because, oh, you're going to love this one. Do you want me to do? Um, yeah, you can do the crust part. This uh, is Oreo cookie. Did you take the frosting out of the middle? No, of the actually, I didn't. I just took about eh, eight, nine, ten Oreo cookies. And it doesn't show any white in it? No. Okay. And then I just put it through the food processor. You can actually use a blender just, mm -hmm. you know, until it gets like that. And take about a tablespoon or two of butter. Mm -hmm. I think that's just one tablespoon, actually. Uh -huh. And you're going to make the crumb topping. In the meantime, I just took um, some strawberries, and I measured it out prior, and I added a few more. But it's what you want is two cups of the strawberries, and then you mash them up. And this is not the best little masher in the world, but that's why we need that test kitchen. We, well, you know, here's here's when you like need Linda because she's strong, and Linda. I'm not very. I don't have a lot of great strength in my arms. So now, does this go in there? Nope. Oh. That's actually the last thing you do. Oh, okay. That's right. You. That's right. That's right. Yeah. And then once we get this just about where we want it, you need a really loaf close. pan. You need a loaf pan that is about this size, and then you um, put foil in it. Line it with foil, mm -hmm. and it is so easy to come out, which is 
every I have woman. every intention of using this Nightmare. recipe myself next time I have company. Okay, then what we're doing right now is we're just going to add a can of the um, sweetened condensed milk, and you want to add the whole can, 14 ounces of it. And I remember my mom used mm -hmm. to make the best dessert. You know, if you boil this for a couple hours, it turns like caramel. Oh. Mm. Sinfully it's powerful wonderful. stuff. There's no question about that. Well, my mom would top a lot of her special jello salads at Christmas time with that. And you want to hand me the lemon juice? And actually, just go ahead and put it in here. That's an interesting combination of, of flavors, isn't it? Yeah, but you know what? I almost think you need it because it helps cut some of that sweetness mm -hmm. that you get with the condensed milk. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to hurry up because <laughs> we are running out of time. Do you need this whole thing in there? I need the whole thing. Do you want it now? Yes, ma'am. Uh, this is thought. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, you're going to love this one. And then once you whip all, the, you know, fold this in. And then you put it in the loaf pan. I'm licking my fingers, so don't write. I know I shouldn't. I know, Arthene, you will love this taste of this filling. It is. Wonderful. You put it in the loaf pan, then you put this on the top, right? You put it on the top. And then in the freezer. And we, we put one in overnight, so it should be just... But yeah, if you, you could do this you know, at home. Just understand if you do it in the morning and you want to you uh -huh. know, have it for at night. As long as it's you know, been in the freezer for, for about six or seven hours, you're fine. And we're getting, it's almost, I almost have it together here. And then once it's frozen and you want to serve it, the one thing nice about the foil, honestly, it just lifts right out of the container. And I'm just going to pour this in here real fast. And I've already decided when I use this, I'm going to use my little sherbet. I have a little kind of odd-shaped sherbet things. The bottom of a uh, is flat. And I think I would uh, use it that way because I like something you can just bring to the table and you don't have to cut or slice. Or we might have a little. Might have a little too much? Well, like. yeah, I don't really know why. It Maybe we had a little more cool if I think I was running out of cool with yesterday when I made it, but it's no big deal. And then you see when the, um, you put this cookie mixture on the top of it and it all freezes together when it comes out, then that makes your crust because that will be the bottom when it comes out. Yeah, that's exactly right. And while you're putting that in there, I want to show them. What do you say, camera guys? <laughs> Isn't that just gorgeous? What do they say? A thing of beauty is a joy forever, something like that. That must be what you want, Miss mm -hmm. mm -hmm. A thing of beauty. So, let's taste it. I want to see how it cuts because I think it would be, I don't know how long this has been out, just a few has, minutes? Yeah, it hasn't been out of the freezer that long. Oh, yeah, it's still frozen. So, it's like a really wonderful frozen. Yummy, delightful Type. dessert. Dessert. How you coming? Are you doing well, all right? I'm about to. Okay. See how see how that crust is on the bottom. It's just gorgeous. Let's turn it around this way. So yeah, I'm going to try to get like. a a bite of um, all of it. And with this topping, you know, bad, bad you work, but just has to do it. Pat it down into the mm. the stuff. Mmm. Do you like Let's it? Let's just stop down and. Have some wonderful Look dessert. That. Look at that on the monitor. Doesn't that make you proud? Wanda's the one who did that. Mm. I want one more bite of this. If this main part, I can't tell you how good it's because because it's not sickeningly sweet. Mm. It's really delightful. Mm. You want to lick that finger of yours. Stop the show. Let's <laughs> eat it. <laughs> Turn off the cameras. And oh, you do want to cover this up and put it in the freezer. That's a winner. If you want. <laughs> if you want this recipe, we will send it to you. Mm -hmm. Just write to me at Homekeepers Post Office Box 6922 Clearwater, Florida 33758. Appreciate that $5 that helps us turn around and get it out to you. This is worth $100, so. And stay and meet Denise Deary, okay? Stay with me. Oh. If you would like a copy of today's recipe, please send your request along with a gift of $5 or more to Homekeepers, P.O. Box 6922, Clearwater, Florida, 33758. You need to get this one for Valentine's Day, or it would be beautiful Christmas time, uh, but Valentine's Day for your sweetheart.
It is just agree. as good as it looks. Welcome, Denise. Thank so you. So happy I'm glad to have to be you here. Yeah. And I got to talk about your mom a little bit. Go for it. She's the yep. first employee at the Christian Television Network. Okay. And before that, she'd been on the mission field, actually, right? In Puerto Rico. In Puerto Rico. And I want you to repeat what you said about her because that's all that needs to be said. That she's an angel. <laughs> <laughs> and that all the children are serving the Lord because of her. That's right. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I would attest that to it. Yeah. Her faithfulness. We were trying to find something wrong with her while going. We couldn't. Couldn't come up with it yet. No. Not yet. We'll keep trying. <laughs> uh, and you were minister's wife. Yes, ma'am. Four children. Yes, ma'am. That ma doesn't look right yeah. at all. 17, 13, 8, and 4. You Very look busy. 17. Thank so. you. <laughs> uh, and you work with the Master's Commission. Uh, a lot of people have heard about that. It's very dynamic. Uh, is it a, a discipling and also sending them out type That's of exactly ministry? What it's it very is. intense though. Yes, it is. It's a nine month intensive discipleship program that we put young adults through once they've graduated from high school and they're thinking about going into the ministry and we point them in the right direction, either through missions, mm -hmm. youth ministry, whatever um, ministry field that they feel like they're led to be into, we disciple them in that, in that area. You know, that whole concept makes so much sense because it's like a, a jump start. It's, it's like, re, you know, real intense, certain yeah. amount of time, and you're trying to pour all of this knowledge and inspiration and spirit into them. Definitely. Really focused. Yeah. I'm over the curriculum aspect of the program, and so we prayerfully picked out really good curriculum for them that's going to train them up, help them with life lessons mm -hmm. that they could take through the rest of their lives, even into their 40s mm -hmm. and on up. Mm -hmm. So it's real good. Well, a few months ago, your mom came to me and said you were really dragging, mm -hmm. and a mother with four children and being a part of a ministry just makes it doubly hard. Yes, it does. So she said, do you think um, CellQuest would help her? And you were diagnosed with chronic fatigue, right? Right, and fibromyalgia. Um, I had Epstein-Barr that was kind of in a remission mode, which I never knew that I had mono. And that's, that's a derivative of Epstein-Barr's mono. It's a virus that causes Epstein-Barr. And so um, through life, you know, being in the ministry, um, stress, if you don't handle stress correctly, if you don't sleep right, mm -hmm. if you don't put all your cares in the lap of Jesus, mm -hmm. this is what's going to happen. And basically the Lord showed me, you know, through this time, you know, not that I would wish this on anyone, mm -hmm. going through what I went through for five months I was in bed, you know, mm -hmm. literally just laid up in bed wishing that God would take me home, you know, looking oh, back terrible. I can't believe. I mean, it's wonderful to be with the yeah. Lord, but you yeah. Probably want to finish raising your children and a few yeah. things like that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But I felt hopeless. I felt, you know, yeah, you learn, you learn the scripture. But when you go through something like this, what comes out is really who you are. Mm -hmm. And I learned that I really wasn't dependent on the Lord. Yeah, I knew scripture and everything, mm -hmm. but I really had to lay my life down to Him and just say, Lord, you know, I'm not in control. You are, and mm -hmm. that's what I needed to do. And then when my mom told me about CellQuest. I thought, let's put those two things together, yeah. the Word, you know, and CellQuest, and let's see what those two dynamics can Yeah, make. she asked me about it. I said, honestly, I don't know. We've had people on here uh, talking about the product and their uh, experience with cancer. It was right. so dramatic. And then we had a lady with really bad hot flashes, and uh, she said CellQuest took care of that. And her husband when he's here and he told me, thank God for CellQuest, you know. Right, yeah. And uh, then Wanda had a dramatic, uh, really just cured her asthma. And, but I told your mom, fibromyalgia and chronic syndrome fatigue, I don't know, you can try it. Right. Take it from there. You yeah. tried it, right? Oh, I tried it. Um, probably, it's been almost a year since she shipped the, the product to me and I started taking it. Within two weeks, I felt like a big difference, like 80% better. Mm -hmm. And then I just kept taking it and kept taking it. I took double doses. I was really ingesting it because I was desperate. You know, mm -hmm. I really wanted to be there for my family and I wanted to take care of them. 
Um, you talk about guilt, mm -hmm. not being able to do things for your family. Yeah, it's just awful when your body doesn't function. do what you tell it to do. I know. Uh, now, more recently, she said uh, that you had been out of it, out mm -hmm. of SelfQuest. Right. And that you were kind of starting back down that just road again. Just getting a little tired again, right? And, and so she I, got it to me. Mm -hmm. And so you got some more, and what happened then? Well, it just brought me back up to where I needed to be. Um, the one thing with ch chronic fatigue is, is um, what I was experiencing was I was sleepy all day long, and at night I was wide awake. And mm -hmm. the doctor wanted to give me um, sleeping a aids, and they wanted to give me uh, antidepressant. And I felt, you know, if I want God to heal me, mm -hmm. and w I'm not going to be taking these medications, and I wanted something mm -hmm. pure and and that you know, I could really testify of what God has done in my life. Mm -hmm. And I'm using CellQuest, and I, I will testify that God has used that. And it's pure. It's not, mm -hmm. it, it doesn't have any other products in it. It's, it's just, just liquid, pure, yeah, yeah plantains. Mm -hmm. And it has worked. Yes, I want to put the information on your screen because, uh, again, there was, I think one time we had a different telephone number for it. But if you're interested in it, you can call 1-800-229-0059. The information is on the screen, and that will uh, bring your order to us, and we can make sure that it gets out to you. Uh, that does include the shipping and handling, so we want you to have that information. Um, a lot of times with these kinds of products, because, you know, they're not FDA approved. They're not drugs, for one thing. Right. And people say, well, how much did you take and, and all this? And we don't have those kind of studies. Right. And you're the first person that we've had on here that said that this helped your specific problem. Right. So how did it work for you? Uh, well, I, I took 16 ounces a day. That's how I took it. And then when I started feeling almost back to normal, mm -hmm. I kind of teared back a little bit. Mm -hmm. And um, by probably December of last year, I felt 100%. And so I was taking it as is, you know, for needed purposes. Right, You right. know, if I was feeling a little weak or a little tired, um, then I would start, you know, pumping it mm -hmm. even more into my body. But How much do you take right now? Right now, like today, I took eight ounces mm -hmm. this morning. You take it every day? Yeah, yeah. for the most part. Mm -hmm. um, I was, I went on the Internet to learn a little bit about uh, fibromyalgia. Right. And... Uh, a lot of these diseases are related. They're things that we never heard of growing right. up. I, no doubt they existed, but this is the way medicine progresses, thank God. Mm -hmm. um, but it's a very painful. Yes, it is. Right. It's debilitating. You know, um, this is really strange, but, you know, forks and spoons and knives were, were pretty heavy for me at one point. Um, around June of last year, I had a difficult time picking it up. You know, I would pick it up, and it just felt so heavy. It felt like like a weight, and um, yeah, it it really does affect your joints, your muscles, um, your activity. You know, seems a little harder. Yeah, when than they usual. told you that that you had this, and, and apparently there's there is a connection to the chronic fatigue. Um, it, yeah, they have about the same type of symptom. You know, you do get tired with fibromyalgia. Mm -hmm. um, the fibromyalgia pretty much is joint pain and muscle pain. And it cannot kill you. And you can not live with miserable. it. But it makes you miserable. Yeah. So I just thought, you know, I'm going to do it. No holds barred. How in the world did you feel, though, when you got that diagnosis? I'm trying to put myself in your position. You have four children. Right. And um, was, it, was there a lot of fear? Was there like, I am going to spend the rest of my life in bed? No. No. I just thought, you know what, I'm going to make myself better, you know, with God through His Scripture and with believing what God says in His Word. His promises are true. They're yes and amen. Mm -hmm. And I quote Him. Every day I quote Jeremiah 14 where it says, Heal me, O Lord, and you have healed me. You know, save me and you have saved me, for mm -hmm. you are my praise. And if I ring up to him, up to heavens his praises, then I know that He's going to put His hand on me and help me with Southwest, you know, mm -hmm. with the help of Southwest. Well, you know, it, it, it is a combination of things. I think the Lord uh, can direct you in all things, yes. you know, the, mm -hmm. the combination. And 
I think that your attitude and your belief in God yeah. and your praising and, and standing on that word um, certainly is the most important thing. Yeah, it is. The most important thing you can do. I agree. But these bodies of ours uh, respond to the things that God made and the cell quest comes from the plantain and it's parts of the tree. It's not, it's not the fruit and all. Right. Um, it's a product that was formulated in Cuba right. more than 50 years ago. And there it showed some uh, real dramatic results in some people with cancer and also animals with cancer. That's what I read. Uh -huh. And so uh, what we've discovered on this program is that it seems to seems to help other Everything else. Yeah. Other symptoms. Yeah. For years, um, I have a really long testimony, which I will not share today. But for years, I had a, an eating disorder. And I know that my body, it was taxing on my body. And I know that mm -hmm. the breaking point last year, you know, I was, I was healed of it four years ago. But last year, you know, when you run and run and run and do things for God, you're doing, doing things for yourself, and you're forgetting to replenish your body, spiritually and nutritionally that's just the way it is yeah uh -huh. you know there there are going to be complications so that that's connect this I is believe that I think you're right yes, I believe and you know your proteins are down um, potassium's down mm -hmm. you know and and so I believe that CellQuest has really healed up my body you know and yeah I might have from, abused from several my years body. of damage yes yeah. 21 years of damage from 16 well, when can you come back and tell us the whole story? That's pretty amazing. <laughs> I know. It's um, a hidden secret that, yeah. you know, I pick Eating disorders choose. are very much in the front of yes, it is. medicine today. Yeah, it's a mental disease that God has healed me miraculously four years ago. Oh, you're going to come back. Yes, amen. Yes, yeah, uh, I, th I think that there's nothing like a good testimony. I've said so many times for Christian television, this is what I believe. Amen. Number one, we get the message of salvation. Amen. Number two, a good testimony. There's nothing yeah. like that. Number Amen. three, that we can tell people what's happening in our country and maybe a different slant than what you hear on the regular news. Amen. And uh, I would very much like to have that like testimony, but I'm, I'm glad you finally made it because we were talking about this months ago when you lived yeah. in Orlando. And uh, Denise is a part of the uh, pastoral staff at the uh, First Assembly of God in Clearwater, Florida. And mm -hmm. I know I would be very pleased to have my children in a program with you and your husband. We're excited. You know, where your heart is. For the future, all. definitely. Amen. Okay. Uh, we're out of time, but I, I really do want to have you back. I think you could help a lot of women if you... I'm here. Tell us your story, okay? Thanks. All right. Stay with me. I have a couple things to say before we have to say goodbye. Arthlene would like you to keep the following information handy. You may contact Homekeepers by writing P.O. Box 6922, Clearwater, Florida, 33758. Remember, we always enjoy hearing from our viewers, and we thank you for your support. Okay, I again want to show you uh, the cell quest and the telephone number. Uh, that's where you get three bottles, three 16-ounce bottles for $39.95, and you can call 1-800-229-0059 and uh, use your credit card and we will expedite that to you just as quickly as possible. And as I mentioned when I talked to Denise that we've had uh, some wonderful testimonies um, about its effect with cancer, with hot flashes, with um, asthma. And so if that's something that would interest you, feel free to use that number. Uh, you know, if something natural can help you, that's, that's what I want. That's what I want first. I was looking in the scripture last night, Psalm 130. Have you ever gone there? I had it all underlined and highlighted in my Bible, but I had forgotten it. It says, Oh Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to my cry for mercy. If you, oh Lord, kept a record of sins, who could stand? I know I couldn't. I thank God for his mercy. But with you there is forgiveness. Therefore, you are feared. This is to not ever want to disappoint God, to revere him, to honor him. But it says that 
with you there's forgiveness. That's such a huge part of being healthy. There are a lot of people, actually with debilitating diseases, there are a lot of people with mental disorders because they refuse to forgive, but God forgives. <laughs> I mean, if He forgives us, what could possibly be any good reason that we wouldn't forgive someone else? So, it says, I wait for the Lord, my soul waits, and in His word I put my hope. That's exactly what Denise was talking about earlier. Where, where is your hope? Where is your security? Where is that core of belief that everyone needs? And you say you don't have, oh yes you do, you might believe in yourself very strongly. Uh, you might believe in some cult, some type of a, a new age religion. But where do you really put your hope? And the psalmist said he put it in his word. That's where I put my hope. My soul waits for the Lord more than the watchmen wait for the morning, more than the watchmen wait for the morning. Have you ever been in a situation where you were waiting for that morning? Oh, I remember when my husband and I were young evangelists and we were traveling on the evangelistic field and actually we didn't have enough money for a motel so we'd drive all night long. And I was afraid he'd fall asleep because he's so comfortable behind the wheel. And so I would take that shift from 12 to four in the morning I'm telling you, I know what it means to be watching for that morning because when you see that first little glimpse of that change and light is beginning to come, then you know morning is not far away. And I know exactly what the psalmist said and I hope that you do too. If not, I hope that scripture will change your course this week. Hey, join me next time. Remember, there's no higher calling than that of a homekeeper. God bless you. If you would like a video copy of today's Homekeepers program for just $19.95, call 1-800-229-0059 for credit card orders or send a gift of at least $19.95 to Homekeepers, P.O. Box 6922, Clearwater, Florida 33758. Be sure to note the program number which appears on your screen.